What is up everybody? We're doing another tour with you today. We got Earthship Customs, the owner, the brains behind it all. Well, some of it. Scott here. Uh, we're showing off a really cool van. This is right up my alley. This is like bougie of bougie-ness. And I love this build. I can't wait to show it off to people. Uh, it's a little bit more of a homey vibe than an adventure style vibe. We're gonna get into all of the details. We're gonna talk to them about pricing. And what else are we gonna talk to you about? We're gonna talk about vans. We're gonna talk about vans. Yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, obviously consider subscribing, but I do a lot of different tours here. I do van tours, I do tiny home tours. I'll do a tour of anything that's unique, different, overlanding rigs, because that's all the things that I love to do personally. So let's get into it right now. What's up, Scott, man? How you doing? Good, good. Uh, Earthship Vans. Yes. You got a great shop, you got a great crew. Talk to me about the van behind you. Yeah, so right here, we've got a 2022 Mercedes Sprinter 2500. This is our newest build. It's a, what we're gonna consider the 2024 ESV1. So the ESV1 is kind of a concept build. We have found to be an ideal layout. However, when we work with our clients, you get to pick fit and finish, custom colors, fabric, countertops, everything like that. So. It's what we've found to work inside of the van, and then you get to personalize it to your own spec. What we've found that works, you mean layout-wise? Yeah, layout-wise. Layout-wise, because like... But, okay, so systems, yeah. layout, that that type of thing. We're gonna get into this in a second yes. or later, but you have I know you have a cruise and comfort in here. We do. So if yeah. somebody was like, hey, I don't know if I want the cruise and comfort, can I put the, you know, the something else on the roof? Is that something that you would consider? I haven't done it before. <laughs> okay. I just called it. I'm making stuff up here. So. I haven't done it. I really, I like the brands that we work with. So we offer a two year warranty with all of our vans. So oh, nice. that, that's part of it, you know, not to hate on any of the other manufacturers, but I have personally used these products. So when they go off to a far off land over to Europe, something like that, I want to make sure they work. Yeah. And I don't want phone calls at night. This is a client build, if I'm not correct. It is, okay. yeah. So this is gonna be a, going off to California. And guys, when I do my tours, I like to focus on the outside at the towards the end of the video. Uh, but we're gonna jump in right now and we're gonna, gonna give you guys as much information as we can about our show. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's go. So part of your uh, your layout, do both swivel? Because right now just one is. They do, okay, yeah. Great. These, these are on st stock swivels. What we really like about this layout is that you've got a full-time hang out in the front of the vehicle. So we use all the stock factory seats in this. We also do Shieldman aftermarket seats. Um, if you're looking to upgrade from that. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. With this color tone and the green, yep. some brown Shieldmans would have looked perfect. Yeah, the, <laughs> the light tan brown leather Shieldmans. The Shieldmans, man. Yep. Oh my yep. God, that would look so good. That would have looked so good with a brown, <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Again, with the layout, you got the bench here. Yep. Obviously, the operating two swivels. Yep. Is there is there anything functionality wise in the bench? Yeah. So this one's got full storage underneath this front part, and then a safe laptop safe, everything underneath that, and that's bolted through the vehicle for all your valuables, everything like that. Well, that's smart, so, just in case you have an intruder of some sort. Yeah, for sure. This van actually has a ghost security system, so you can track GPS and access uh, all four cameras from any place in the vehicle. G-O-S-T. Oh, I've heard ghost. of them, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 ghost. Yep, so. Out of sight, out of mind, like yep. I love to say, it's a little cozy, it's chilly, out in Denver right now. It is. It's it's warm in here, and this goes back to having some of the top of the line products in here. Yeah. What is your heating yeah. system in here? So we use uh, Van Life Tech's hydronic floor system, three stage heating system. So you, it's going to give you the floor. So you can't see it, but there's PEX going through the whole floor, and that's heated by an S bar heater. Um, connects to our extended fuel tank. And uh, so that's gonna give you hot air. It's gonna give you the floor and hot water. I think he calls it what, the Roman holiday? Roman holiday, yeah. Ursa Vans has done how many? 20 yeah. something vans. Yeah. How many VLTs, Van Life Tech, uh, how many are in that? Yeah, I'd say we've you know, almost half that. Really? Yeah, so it's one of those features that if you have a budget that can help support comfort, mm -hmm. you know, you could have your shoes off 
in winter in this van and be super comfortable. I actually have the same exact heating system in my tiny house he and does. I've had it, I had it in my second van. Yep. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it it's is. A, it's a true radiant. It is. All right, let's switch sides so we can talk about this the rest of your layer. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh, again, this, this is probably some of the nicest color tones that I've, I've seen in a van. Thank you. Um, I, I don't know. You, I'm, you're saying thank you, but did your color? Did your client pick it, or did, did you? <laughs> yeah, I did not pick this. <laughs> she has been a designer her whole life, okay, and whatnot. So she She's knows a what photographer. Was yeah, yeah, exactly. Is this a paint? Uh, no, this is a veneer. It's a high pressure yeah, laminate. High pressure laminate. Yeah. You got it. It's really nice. Yeah. And then I, I didn't even talk about this, but the butcher block is just. Yeah. It's yeah, the walnut gorgeous. really helps bring a lot of richness in with the greens and yeah. the lighter tones. Yeah, you're so going to the black matching. sink, the yeah. matching pan, you know. <laughs> you got to. You got to. Nothing goes unseen here. Um, yeah. The fridge. Yep. You went with a, looks like a Vitro Frigo. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so dual zone fridge. You can choose between both doors being fridge, freezer, 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 fridge, fridge. Take a look. The stainless oh, is super nice. Are we partying later? Yeah, is that what's going on? <laughs> okay. All right. Why is there a couple missing? <laughs> Why are there a couple missing? <laughs> we already talked about high-end products. Yes. This is a, obviously, it's a 2022 4x4 Sprinter. Yeah. That's a high-end van. It is. But well, I'm going to say some, yeah. some numbers for people yeah. to understand this. Yeah. You know, Van Life Tech, we're looking at yeah. 15, 20 grand. Yeah. Uh, depending on the install. Yeah. You know, Cruise and Comfort Air Conditioner, we're looking at between six and 8,000. Yeah. Outside components, we're looking at 40, 50 grand just right there. Yep. The van itself is freaking 70, 80 grand right there. It is. So what is something like this run for a client? You can give me a ball bargain. We don't have to put the client on black. Yeah, for sure. So our vans usually range from anywhere around 250 to just over 300,000. High pressure laminates, yeah. you know, Walnut butcher block countertops, guys. These are top. This, mm -hmm. I'm trying to justify mm -hmm. and understand for people to see the value, not to say, hey, why does it cost so much? No, there's yeah. value here. Yeah, there is value. And you know what? This type of van isn't for everyone. Right. I uh, realize that there's different budgets, but if you have made it in life to be able to afford a luxury van, it's like, we're, we'd love to build it for you. Absolutely. It looks like you got a big closet or something right here floor to ceiling i mean you got yeah a lot so on. we do a full bathroom uh, wardrobe right here and uh, we might as well take a look inside i love it Ooh, isn't that pretty yeah so essentially we've got the thetford cassette toilet it's a product called marbleite if you guys haven't checked it out oh yeah i don't it light. is yeah. nice um it gives that high-end finish and then we've got a teak floor plan in there custom little niche inside for shampoos everything like that and of course thanks to van life tech you get a hot shower i was about to say yeah. something about that like the beautiful and this isn't a van life tech video everybody but having the beauty of a hot shower in a van is just next level it is not just four gallons of hot water yeah. which everybody has in their vans this is unlimited however big your tank is hot water yeah so this is an on-demand system how big is the water tank uh, so this van has two water tanks. It's going to have about 19 gallons inside the van and then 28 gallons, sort of like a summer tank underneath the vehicle. And then we do two 12 gallon gray water tanks. So you're almost got 40 passenger. gallons, like 39 yeah. gallons, whatever that is. I'd say water is one of the limiting factors of how long you can stay off the grid. Uh, you know, you can recharge your power system, but you can't fill up your water. Did this client have windows put in or did you put them in? Cause it looks like there's windows all around. This van was a cargo van. Okay. It was empty. Uh, we did the AMA slider windows on both the passenger and sliding door, driver sliding door. Yep. And then just a full window right here. It's nice. I This is like an option. Sometimes people like to have privacy. Uh, we do all of the shades, everything like that. So we're waiting on the custom one for this one. It really opens up the space, yeah. you know, especially if you're like me, you want to get out into nature. It's nice to kind of be in here and be able to like take in it all. One of the features I really like you that you did is actually you hide yeah. your electrical cabinet. Yeah, our control little spot right up here. Uh, you've got your van life tech. Uh, system, your cruising comfort system, and then this is just the brains for the power. Yeah, for the power, the little screen. Boom. There you right go. There. there it is. Yeah. You were talking about power. What? How much power you got on this bad boy? So uh, this is a 24 volt system, 400 amp hours, 
So 12 volt so 800. system, 800, yeah. exactly. Yep, and we do Victron lithium batteries. Uh, we do an external BMS, and then we do the Servo GX, which is kind of the brain system. Yep. So to that, we plug in all of our tank levels. We plug in the, uh, we've got a, a Nations alternator for the second alternator. Uh, this client has dogs. So, uh, you know, if you've got your AC running throughout the day, uh, you know, you can run the cruising comfort on this system for about six to seven hours, depending on what other appliances you have going. And then, uh, so once the battery voltage drops to 80%, it actually starts the vehicle and then charges the battery, runs for a four hour period, and then turns the vehicle off. Wow. Yeah. That's so it's kind of just a cool thing. It's not super difficult, but it's just one of those things that's like, it completes the system. All right, I'm gonna close this. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice the hardware. Thank you, Bloom. Thanks, Bloom. Really nice hardware. Yeah, you know, that's part of what we do. We try to source all the highest end components. The Bloom, you know, no gas thread, everything like that. Yeah, yeah, we might as well take a look, you know. Well, there's, yeah, I was gonna say, no there's hardware, no hardware, no everything's just push to touch, everything like that. When you, you do yeah. that because no clothing can get caught on anything? Yeah, you know, it's just sleek, right? We're limited space in here. We've got the Vitra Frigo fridge. We've got the bathroom. So it does kind of condense the walkway. I bet you anything, people are gonna be like, well, that's a pretty narrow space. Yeah, but people say that. It's because of this. It guys. is. It's, yeah, this yeah. refrigerator, yep. is, it needs this width. Yeah, yeah, and it's comfortable to walk through. It is tight, but it's I'm a wide individual and I fit through there very easily. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> uh, I'm wide. wide, you're tall. Uh, how <laughs> tall are you? I'm 6'3", so you know, that's kind of the max for these Sprinter vans is 6'3". This does have the hydronic floor system in it and it raises it up. Gives you about three quarters insulation plus your subfloor, yeah. plus your other floors. Beautiful thing about having a 170 is you've got plenty of room for a bed. Yeah. You don't yep. have to compromise about Swiss Army knifing a bed. Yeah. You got a platform bed and that is it. Yeah. Well, this is actually um, from my buddy Corey at Rigwell. It is a platform bed that also transforms into a standing desk as well as stowing it away. Oh, so cool. if you want to walk through the full van, you can, or if you got dirt bikes, something like that, it just gives you a couple of options. You know, the Sprinter vans are tight. You know, modularity is super popular yeah. and taking advantage of the full space is kind of what we have in mind when we design our vans. We're going to talk a little bit about the roof rack, but you got, looks like two skylights, which is great by yeah, the way. Yeah. Skylights. Yeah. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. But vent fans. Vent fans. I know what you mean. Um, one in, one out or whatever, maybe both or whatever. Yeah. But you have, it looks like you have plenty of room up there for the rest of your stuff, solar panels or whatever you need. Yeah. Yeah. We've got, you know, 360 watts of Zamp solar. We've got Starlink and then the rest of the roof is kind of empty. So. With, and there's yeah. a rack up there. Yeah, so the yeah we've got everywhere. the XL yeah. uh, rack from Backwoods, but she's actually a photographer. She, maybe National Geographic's, maybe not. But I think I saw a blanket in here. So yeah, she's, she's, right a, she's a really good photographer. She wants to like take this out and go on safaris and such? And yeah, I don't know if they'll make to Africa, but they've got already a trip planned to Alaska. To uh, They're going to ship it over to Europe. Well, is there anything else yeah. you want to show me in here? They're yeah. kind of, oh. One of my favorite things, the cruise and comfort air conditioner. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's just hidden away, but I see the vents above you. Yeah, so we do a dual vent here to drop to the front and the rear of the vehicle. Uh, it's a split unit, so kind of like the residential. Uh, it has the fans underneath mm -hmm. and then the compressor inside. So one of the highest end air conditioners on the market, and then you can control the fan speed. So if it's already cool in here, you can turn it down, conserve your energy usage, and... Uh, yeah, shout, I mean, out, you got, shout out to Cruise and Comfort. Yeah, Chris over Cruise and Comfort yeah, is the man. Yeah. Uh, you have a 24 volt system. Do you have a 24 volt Cruise and Comfort? We do, yep. Wow. Yeah, so all the major appliances, the fridge, the AC, the lights, uh, all 24 volt, and then we step down to 12 for all the remaining yeah, accessories. Yeah, I mean, if you, it helps if you match voltage, right? But yeah, it's you, ideal. But there is a step down, yeah. like you just said. You know, the LumaCoin lights, uh, they're kind of cool, actually. Here, you can just, Flip, oops, sorry, wrong one. Boom, they go from red to oh. white. So kind of a cool night thing. Let's go to the outside. Yeah, let's I take a look. I want you uh, to kind of show this off. Cause, cool. I mean, this is very, uh, this is very anti-stealth, dude. Yeah, you know, it's like classic adventure van. You have, yeah. look, I mean, some of my favorite uh, 
uh, wheels. Yeah. The yeah, black yeah. rhinos. Yeah, black rhinos wrapped with the BFG KO2s. You know, we do the quick valve, apex valve. So if you are off roading, matched with uh, ARB twin compressor. So is that is the ARB co the compressor under the hood? Yep, under the hood, and also under the hood, uh, S Pod. That's going to manage all of your lights. Oh, the people that yeah. don't know S Pods. S -pods so all nice. the S Pods are handling yeah. all the outside lights. All the exterior. So. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm going to get maybe yeah. ripped apart here because some people call it a snorkel, some people don't call it a snorkel. Is it yeah. a snorkel? Yeah, no, you have this, to answer that, but there's a snorkel. This van can go swimming. It's the number one question, though. Yeah. Like, can that van go underwater? Like, that's a terrible it idea. Can, I can drive through six feet of water, right? <laughs> it's like, no, it can't. You want to have a van still, don't <laughs> take it through water. <laughs> now, it's more so to get the air intake from, usually the air is going to come in through the grill. So it just gets it up. Uh, he's put, Like I said, he's planning on going Alaska. He's going to be on dirt roads, yeah. convoying, stuff like that. It just gets the air intake off so that you're not sucking as much dirt in, meaning that your van is probably gonna last longer and be healthier. Backwoods, uh, front rear bumper, as well as the XL rack on top, uh, all Pathfinder lighting throughout the of exterior course, of the vehicle. Of course, of course. When all your vans, not just this one, or yeah. an option, yeah. is you do, it's not a Raptor line though. Yeah, no, it's a proprietary uh, lining throughout the, uh, throughout the outside. All the bottom, all the flares, everything, we fill in that side window gap, just kind of make it all cohesive. Yep. And then any place that there is raw paint um, on the hood, on the top, we do a wrap. Uh, it's like a clear vinyl just to protect from rock chips. So, so let's go to the back. Yeah, cool. Owl did your running? Yeah, running Owl, Owl, pretty much all the accessories. Um, we have the Owl large expedition box right here he uses this pretty much for all of his you know tire stuff all of his towing stuff you got a mat here b2 carrier with the one-ups right here and then you've got the owl vans back tire carrier ama sliding windows in the back any place we can right. add ventilation let's open up those back doors because you actually yeah. have something back there that i, take I really like you added that wood grain into you uh your boxes here just so beautifully yeah so like i said corey from rigwell is kind of that's their component they make high quality american-made components uh we just stained it with a walnut veneer it's actually bamboo oh okay yeah so it just kind of ties the whole thing together we've got the Get sliding the tray. yeah the sliding gear tray right here uh, 500 pound slides locking 500 pound slides who made the tray is that also rigwell uh no that's uh all the brackets everything like that we design in-house oh cool yeah this is actually a custom earthship tent really yes Are you selling those now yeah. yeah no they're not for sale oh, but, okay but you'll give them to yeah. a client if they yeah, want yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah the gear tray is nice being able to access stuff deeper inside the vehicle the bug nets on the back uh, i'm gonna back up a little bit can you turn off those uh, can you turn on the outside lights yeah for sure that is so rad yeah so you know it is nice uh they dim as well so just loading in and out of the vehicle late at night just getting set up it's it's really nice we do a 360 uh lighting package all the way around the vehicle you know when you live in a van you don't actually live in a van you live <laughs> out of a van same as the sliding door we've got the touring bug nets they also do black eye as well you can you know cover this back area so if you have valuables bikes that kind of stuff sure. you're in this city it's nice to be able to you know just hide that stuff if that's what you're looking to do that's cool so, just kind of cool Torig makes super high quality component so you you just mentioned Torig. you get that from Torig, which is yeah. another van builder actually yeah yeah Torig uh, golden Denver. yeah make right sweet vans but you're you know you're not fighting them no you guys no, work no. together yeah yeah for sure they do a little bit different than us you know one thing else we do uh, a good stereo system who you are again where where can we find you how do we yeah. get a hold of you yeah i'm not giving your cell phone out there but you know, how, how do we get a hold of you scott with earthship vans we are out of denver colorado you can find us earthshipvans.com or earthshipvans on instagram yeah. thanks buddy yeah dude big thanks any words of really wisdom you want to give to the audience maybe before we say goodbye um, you know, make sure you tie your shoes in the morning. <laughs> what? That was actually great. I actually like that. Yeah. Make sure you tie your shoes in the morning before you leave. I'm going to regret that later. But. No, we're going to, we're going to keep that one in there, everybody. And that's going to be the Earthship 
motto from now on, everybody. Uh, all right, Scott, man. Thank you so much hey, for having, having me out Jerry, here. Big thanks, man. Appreciate you. Take care.